Hello. Today we are making chimichurri sauce. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do with it, which is make a chimichurri burger. You're going to love it. And I'm almost pretty sure if you don't have everything fresh, you've got it dry. So, here we go. Alrighty. So, um, oh, you know what I forgot to pull out? The olive oil. This is going to be your primary ingredient. Olive oil. Um, it's kind of to me like um, you would say, oh, well, pesto is Italian. Chimichurri is Latin. So, and, you know, it's really funny because being Hispana, being um, Hispanic, I've, I've never really thought to make this. But I thought, you know what, let's give it a shot. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is add a fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar. Wow. Look what they're doing to it now. You can't just open it anymore with that little ring thing. It left a hole. Is that supposed to happen? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Half, uh, I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup a fourth of a cup of, actually, I'm going to make um, a double batch. So, um, so that is half a cup of red wine vinegar. We are also going to need half a cup of olive oil. And then a third of a cup Packed cilantro leaves. Wouldn't you know it? You know, it's not until I get in front of you guys that I realize I'm opening something new. Okay. Okay, here we go. A third of a cup. Packed cilantro leaves. And these are dehydrated cilantro leaves by McCormick. I was feeling super lazy. And I got dehydrated cilantro leaves. <laughs> Those of you that have them because you're smart enough to make them, pull them out. And let's see here, we got um, a third of a cup dehydrated parsley. And um, we're going to need half a cup of onions. And I'm going to also use my, uh-oh, dehydrated onions. Dun dun dun, dun another safety seal. What is it? Um, oh, uh, half a half a cup of onions. I'm like, be smarter than me. Like I'm always saying, measure your dry ingredients before you actually get them all stuck in the cup in front of 43 people. <laughs> and the 43 people, I mean you guys. 43 subscribers. And you know what? I'm real proud of you guys. I hold on to you. Um, let's see here. Um, four cloves of garlic. Which means we're going to need... How many? You know what? I've never really bothered. Oh, okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four tablespoons if, if you're using this pre-packaged stuff. I go through too much garlic to be standing around mincing. I go through three of these a month. We love garlic in this house. Um, one jalapeno without the seeds and without the ribs. Pero tan loco, so I'm just going to use the seeds and the ribs because my kids think it's a sacrilege to do that to a jalapeno. So there's one jalapeno. And then, you know what, just to give it a little bang, a little pal, um, this is a, can this is, it says Dan and Yogurt. Yes, it does. But um, this is actually a really humongous can that I got at the grocery store of pickled jalapenos. Um, I have about eight dozen of these in my pantry. It comes with the jalapenos and it comes with, um, you know, onions in it that have also been pickled. 
I like to use those. And surprise the 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 carrots, which in Spanish are called zanorias, um, actually aren't spicy. The last time I recall putting one of these in my mouth without tossing it into a recipe like this, it was not spicy. <clears throat> so anything extra you want to add like that, just to give a little depth, is you know, it's cool. And, um, add some pepper and some salt. And then we're going to blitz this up. And that is not blitzing. And let me tell you, I just almost wiped my eye with my jalapeno hand. So, oh wow. I can tell you why this isn't blitzing. There's no blade in it. Let's see here. Boys, where's my blade? Oh, um. Point. Oh. It is over there underneath the green thing and underneath the cups. It should be. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. Alrighty, and here we go. Just putting the blade in. Can I get it around all this stuff? Alright, let's see. Let's try now. Woohoo! And it looks too thick for me. Um, especially considering what I'm going to do with it tonight. So, just like pesto. I'm going to put a little bit into the chute while it's pulsing. And you could, if you really wanted to, um, add an egg and slowly add this olive oil in through the food chute not put it in here because initially I put it in here and um, but if you drizzle it in through here at the very end um, you can make like um, a chimichurri aioli highfalutin mayonnaise and I'm gonna give this a little more of a whir because I can still see that some of my pickled carrots are um, are whole Oh wow, that's actually really, really good. All right, now I'm gonna let this settle. I'm gonna reach over here and I'm gonna grab a, a spatula. Oh, and it just occurred to me um, I got an IM from a friend, and she was like, you know you should be telling people to like and subscribe, right? So everybody like and subscribe. So, <laughs> all right, now let me show you what I am going to do with this fantastic, fantastic Latin, if you will, pesto. Hold on. And yeah, I've got stuff everywhere in here. All right. This was a, I believe, a five pound chub of beef. My husband is gonna go ooh and ah tonight because I rarely, if ever, make beef. So I'm gonna get all this delectable goodness off of this blade. Because I'm cheap. I'm about as cheap as I am lazy, and you know what? That's a lot, okay? And then I am going to pour this in here with my beef. And you can pour as much or as little as you like. I am going to pour it all in. And 
and I, it might be too oily, this might be too much um, chimichurri for these burgers, but that's okay, I can add more beef, or next time I can add less chimichurri. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end up um, adding, I don't know, let's see. Isn't that an attractive sound? <laughs> All right, here. Let's get it out in there. And there you go. These didn't break so much. Three out of five of those did. But that's okay. Because... There is another, I've still got a whole bunch of meat left. There is another spur of the moment recipe that I make when you guys aren't looking, where I take these messed up burgers and I crumble them. And I make some instant boiling bag brown rice. And when that rice is good and hot, I pour in half a jar of thick and chunky salsa. And it's just, and then I toss in the seasoned meat and a little bit of cheese on top, and that makes an awesome casserole. All right, and we'll be back in four minutes. But they are very delicate because of all that oil and the pesto that you put in the beef. That is just the way we prefer them. All right, let me show you the ones that haven't fallen apart, the ones that I'm supposed to be showing you. But I mean, what is amateur video without showing the goofs, right? So there you go. Those are the ones that came out perfect. So, and we actually still have about three minutes left before the timer goes off. So we'll be back when it's time to plate up. Alrighty, and it's time to plate them up. And I am going to, I'm looking all over this kitchen for my spatula, it was in my hand. Okay, I'm gonna plate one up for you. Ooh, and a little bit of mayonnaise and some avocado and a couple of slices of jalapeno with some fritos that I'm going to put chili on. Meal. Yum. Eat at home, y'all. <laughs> 